right, my name is Kira and welcome to Mystique and Illusions. Now today, to wrap up the Halloween 2022 for the big finale, we're gonna do the original Pennywise It. Um, now this is the 1990 version from Stephen King's It where Tim Curry played Pennywise. So we're gonna be doing that makeup today. All the products I've used today are going to be listed down in the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Let's get started. Okay guys, to kick off today's video, we're going to start by outlining all the ruffles on Pennywise's collar. So, there's going to be multiple layers to this. I'm starting off with the thin ruffles at the top and then going down by each section. Um, every time I do a character like this, I suggest looking at a reference photo from the movie. It's going to help a lot and always just try to take it one section at a time. Now I'm going in, like I said, by each section of his ruffles on his collar. There are going to be four full sections and then a small little sweater vest underneath and then the sleeves. I'm outlining every shape um, so then I can try to get a gauge of how I want to start shading it and how I want the fabric to lay. Now I'm going in and kind of marking out each um, different color pattern that we're going to do on this ruffle. We're going to do, um, like in the photo, there is a purple, a teal, and a pink. So I am just outlining what sections I want to be what color and then going back in and with the color and marking each square of what I'm going to paint with that color. After I fill in each section with the correct color, I go in individually and start doing some basic shading um, to allow that texture to kind of flow and give a natural 3D look to it. Thank you. 
After doing the initial shading, I'm going to go in with a small eyeshadow brush and I'm going to do each square and give it a deeper dimension for it for the shadows and then I try to go in and try to make natural wrinkles with the eyeshadow now this is kind of the hardest part but go ahead take your time and if you make a mistake don't worry you're just gonna keep building up So I go ahead and start filling in those white ruffles with just body paint um, and I recommend please powdering after each step just so it helps keep everything set and in place. Now to start the shading of the white ruffles, we're going to use just black eyeshadow and go in and kind of create these natural folds and wrinkles that you'll see. Now, um, please, when doing this, look at a reference photo. I can't express enough how much it helps. Or else sometimes it'll get confusing with the wrinkles and lines. So just keep looking at your reference photo and see how each small section is. And just do a little bit of the ruffles at a time to make it a little bit easier. Now since this is a Pennywise body paint, for those ruffles I really wanted to go in with a tan brown shadow and make it a little dingy and gross so go ahead and just layer that however you'd like.
Now I'm just going to repeat the same process I did on that first white layer of ruffles onto the last and final layer on the bottom. Now for his vest, the outlines are going to be red while the actual main part of the vest is kind of like a gray black with blue turquoise flowers. So I go ahead and just take an eyeshadow brush and do the petals the easiest way so they can kind of just naturally form. And then I take a little bit of black body paint and I go in and add a few line details in the center of the flower. Now the sleeves are just a kind of mirror image of that second layer of ruffles. So we're alternating again through the teal, red, and purple. Instead of the pink, it is red this time. But um, So go ahead and do the same process that you did on that third layer, the colored layer of the ruffles on your arms. After finishing each section, I also go in with my black body paint and a thin detail brush and do a very thin outline of each section. I also went into that third layer of colored ruffles and added just a little bit of white body paint stitch work just to give you something else a little bit more interesting to look at. I go ahead and put my hair in a wig cap just to make it a little bit easier because uh, we're going to have a wig forehead prosthetic attachment in just a little bit. So I go ahead and start using a beauty blender with a cream base white. Now um, I usually like to do a white body paint underneath and then do a cream foundation on top like that. But since we're doing Pennywise, I wanted it to not be as um, opaque and to be a little translucent.
I go ahead and apply my Pennywise um, wig and forehead cap. Uh, I also go ahead and cover any exposing part of my ear that you'll see through the wig. And then I just go ahead and start layering that same white foundation onto the silicone head there. Now to help get rid of that hard line from my skin to the um, forehead prosthetic area, I go ahead and stip on some latex. It's white latex. And then I take a little bit of cotton and kind of go over it just to help the transition a little bit better. I'm just taking a blue cream foundation and go ahead and just um, putting the eye makeup on just like Pennywise had. So they're kind of like these blue messy triangles. So don't worry if you smudge it a little bit. His are a little bit smudged. They're not completely perfect triangles. So don't worry about that. And then I go ahead and take my red body paint and fill in my lips and do the same shape that Pennywise had. Now I'm trying to shape my lips up to make them look a little bit thinner and a little bit more flatter and straight. Now to do the final touches for this look, I'm going to take my black body paint and a detail brush and go ahead and do my eyeliner on top and just under my waterline. And then go ahead and bring those lines down that you see in normal clown makeup. I then go ahead and do the eyebrows that he has. I try to stick to the shape as close as possible. And then as a final little detail that I did at the end is I went in and did a little bit of crease shading just to try to match uh, Tim Curry. And of course the big red nose can't forget that I go ahead and do red body paint and then I take a little bit of black eyeshadow and make the dark edges on the outside and kind of shade it in I also do a tiny little dab of white body paint on the tip of the nose and smear it out to give a little highlight effect And that's it guys. Thanks for sticking around for Halloween 2022 and have a spooky day. We'll see you next time with some different stuff. Bye.